Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about uh, DAS Studio. It's been a minute since I, I did a tutorial on DAS Studio but something exciting just came on the scene today and that is a uh, Meta Mixer. <laughs> yeah. So this is what we're going to be talking about and it's similar, I mean if m many of you have already seen the Meta Human uh, Creator online where you're able to use this uh, blend mode and now the met the meta human creator has multiple options where you have like maybe more than three slots but this is uh in that same kind of uh, approach okay so this is what we're going to do so the key is so let's close that all right right now as you can see it's on sale uh, it's over at uh, 995 but if you're a Plat uh, platinum club member uh, you want to get it for $3.83 and I think this is worth it and you're gonna see why. So after you buy it, right, it's gonna show up in your DAS Central and the way you find it, uh, this is a quicker way to find it. The other ways to find what well, this is uh, I think would be helpful just to make sure that you actually have a, it installed. Go to your DAS Studio assets over here in DAS Central and do a search for For Meta Mixer, so go ahead and install it. Okay, and once it's installed, go ahead and click open. And you're gonna see like an on-screen guide. I click on Smart Content, and then do as they said. Click here to filter. Go to Product. And there it is. Okay, finish. So this is a double click on it. And here are some you know details about the product and what it actually does. Some you know product notes and installation packages. All right. So how it works. Uh, you need to first start in the content folder over here. Go ahead and load a basic character, a Genesis 8.1 basic model. And while that's loading, uh, let's talk about a little bit about the the interface interface itself. So the way it's designed is that right now they're only offering three three models that you start with. But if you have if you want other like models models to be able to plug into these slots, you those are gonna be you're gonna have to buy those separately. And the artist that created this is called Fox Two D. I hope I'm pronouncing it that correctly. <laughs> All right, so now that we have uh, our Genesis 8.1 character in here, uh, we go ahead, go back to the smart content over here, right? Go to props over here and double click on Meta Mixer setup. It's gonna load it in the scene right here and it's gonna create a camera specific to that this mix meta mixer ca camera over here so we'll go to perspective and then go to the meta mixer ca camera so you can actually see the slots over there right so we can do that and i'm gonna load the timeline over here and if you want to see it in a bigger way i just go to render settings over here go to general and we're gonna use active display over there so we can see it better Okay, go back to smart content. And now you go to shaping over here. Another step that you have to do, by the way, guys, is make sure before you even double click on this that the character is selected. So I, I don't know if I did that. Let me do that again. Let's delete that uh, widget. And we're going to delete the camera as well. So we start again. Okay. But first, make sure you also go to Window, Tabs, and bring up the Power Pose panel because you're going to need this. Okay, so we're going to need uh, the Power Pose panel over here. And now that you have it, you can go to select the character, uh, go to the Props over here, 
and then make sure once the character is selected double click on the meta mixer setup all right and that's going to create a, a light also and you, it's also it helps to switch to filament pbr okay and then we're gonna go into the perspective view and the meta mixer camera so you can see properly right there and then we'll go to shaping over here so there are three slots right so the top one we're gonna plug in halt there and actually you can see the changes of that and then in uh so there's three uh, slots for b c so you could have halt b in b and c or c so and then for slot another slot for in b we're gonna put nita over here all right she's over here and then we're gonna put the brute in slot c okay so now we have the different slots selected so after you have created these things you just have to go over here go to the meta mixer camera and then click on the widget root over here so you can see it has shown up on this side and we can actually let me yeah we don't we can put it over here okay now this is where the fun begins because now with this the, the widget selected you can transition between these three models like that okay so you can see that and let me actually collapse this over here and so you drag in this center and it, it, it's like a blending mode and also they have the widget over here the template you can use blending and you can also use move so as you're moving these widgets you're able to move these parts of the the body so you're essentially sculpting in a way but you're just moving them around and then there's also this uh, scale mode inflate mode rotate and then there's this sculpting mode now this one is more detailed because now you're doing more granular adjustments and then if you switch these cameras like that you're able to see like the angle and then you can also go left back so that you can see how the back is looking and then whenever you and then you can play with all these other things there are so so many things that you can <laughs> play with in terms of trying to sculpt the character but i really i like being able to go into the three quarter mode over here and then seeing that so go ahead and try it out guys uh, that's uh, just a quick insight into how you're able to use this and be able to sculpt your character and blend so if you're happy with that you can still go back to uh, the blending move blending scale blending inflate there's so many things that you can play with but uh, this is the primary one that goes between the three characters that you've added over here so if we went back so we have over here the different characters but there's also i see toss rate over here so you could put toss rate for example in c So thank you so much again for joining me guys uh this again today was just a quick insight going through and so now that we have toss rate over there we can go back to blending mode over here and you can blend between the different parts of the character so if you want more if you want the forehead to be more or of the character at and the a slot the lips themselves like that <laughs> yeah it's funny like that so and here's the fun part now that i have uh 
a 3090 card, I can actually be brave enough to try NVIDIA IRA. Let's give it a second. All right, so I want better lighting. So I'll go to my render settings over here, go to filtering, let's turn on the noiser and post post the noise and turn this to all the way to one. Okay, then I go to my presets over here. Go to render settings and let's look at some of the this beautiful lighting. Let's try this. All right. So now, <laughs> If I try to adjust a little bit, I'll get back some feedback over there. So I'm still able to adjust and then when I release, you can see when you can see more of that. And let's go to front. Let's see, where's uh it's 24. Can't find a really good light that uh okay, but anyways, that's just a, a quick insight into how this all works, and uh, I hope that is that's helpful to get you started. And again, it's gonna be under smart content. And make sure you download it using your DAS Central. I mean, install it using your DAS Central. Click open, and you'll be able to find it in here. And uh, there are other, you know, things that you can do in here. And you can even do like a clay mod version. But make sure that you're in in a filament mode. And the lighting, you have to have the initial lighting set up for that. Okay. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And this is, again, it was just a quick insight to show you how you can get started with a meta mixer. I think it's, uh, it's inspired by the meta humans. So it's like a, a meta human creator kind of thing. But uh, also let me know how it goes, guys. Uh, share your uh, thoughts on in the comments if you love it, if, you, if you're using it. I would love to see or hear more of what, what different settings are people that are using and what you've been able to create. Again, if you're new to my channel, kindly spare me to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.